After a viewer reached out through our reported feature, Honolulu police opened a criminal littering investigation in connection to the large trailer container that was left on the side of Kaukonahua Road this week. But the container is still there, and nearby property owners are worried they'll have to foot the bill to remove it. Bryce Moore follows up. Jeannie Bennett lives on one of the farm lots next to Kaukonahua, paying into a common fund that maintains the private road behind where the trailer was left. We've also gone through the trouble of maintaining uh, this gravel area so that people either coming in or coming out Sometimes the community even pulls over on this spot and uses it as like a handoff so they don't have to drive all the way in. But now this trailer is on that gravel, which is private property. Bennett says since a criminal investigation has been opened. Six days later, now where's all the evidence? You know, are they going to come down and take fingerprints? Are we responsible if somebody hits it? in the middle of the night because they swerve off the road and now they sue us. The president of the Kaala Farm View Lot Condominium Association tells me the city has previously removed smaller vehicles from this private property as long as the object interfered with public right of way. I don't know the exact number, 15 feet from the road, 20 feet from the road. So if it's <clears throat> on the right of way, it's within that uh, boundary. Um, it's easier for the city to do something. If it's completely off the right of way, then it's completely on my property. We're waiting to hear back from the city on where the right of way boundary extends to, but Bennett says she called a private company that can remove the trailer for 15 grand. As it stands right now, she can either leave it as a blind spot hazard. Or you end up having to take care of it yourself. And it shouldn't be that way. We're all in this together. Now, even if the trailer container is on private property, residents point out it's clearly posing a public safety issue, and they'd be willing to sign a waiver from the city so officials will get it out. I don't have an issue with the ground getting torn up. Give us a waiver. We'll be happy to sign it. Okay, let's, let's do something. Let's just not get lip service. Bennett says the owner of the container itself has been contacted and asked to remove it. We'll keep following up with the city, police, and property owners till it's gone. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.